bright duty every student matters welcome to another lecture in this class we are going to continue with lord of flies written by william bolden a fiction from class 11th alternative english nagaland form now in the previous lectures we have discussed about the entire novel the in depth summary of the entire novel we talked about how the boys who were abandoned on that island because of the plane crash did manage to survive by the end although they lost simon they lost piggy and they also saw themselves being transformed from human kids to savages now in this part of the lecture we are going to discuss the important themes of the entire novel the first theme that the novel dealt with was the human nature now we all understand that human nature is basically very vulnerable you know as i told you at the beginning of the story itself every human being tries to be as good and nice as they can be but when faced with the real scenario and the real problems in lives the true side the true evilness comes up same was the case with this uh, story that we read these boys they had innate they had in themselves some savage uh you know animal they were savages from inside rather than following the rules working hard they preferred to have fun they were always afraid of the presence of a beast around them and they decided to be silent he talks holding through his uh, story talks about the fact that human beings are savages by nature you know we always have the urge in itself to be selfish we are very brutal and we want to have dominance over the others same was the case with these boys who thought that there was a beast around them in the jungle but by the end of the novel we understood that the beast actually existed within them so that was the first thing the second theme of the novel was civilization now we all remember when i told you that ralph was sitting on the mountain looking at the ocean in front of him and th- thinking about the civilization on the other side of the ocean so ralph simon piggy they always tried to work towards civilization in the entire story he worked towards you know he thought of creating a need so that one would strive towards civilization he has in the entire story worked uh, you know talked about what role civilization plays in one's life and how important it was to abide by rules and laws to work and to stay in a civilized society so basically in this novel we talked about how civilization basically became a victim in the hands of savagery which exists within every human being and it also talks about how the boys they became totally savage because of jack so it talks about the role of influence that you know one can have on the other people's life jack mocked at piggy and then you know he did not believe in the beast and the other boys on the islands they also slowly were moving from civilization to savagery so this is how this makeshift has been shown in the entire the next one is obviously the savage and the beast the beast over here in the entire story has been used as a symbol by golding to represent the evil that lies within every human being 
he talks about the fact that civilization exists so that that evil that beast inside us can be suppressed you know we all have that desire for power for violence for civilization and that is how we somehow try to keep the beast in control savagery comes to the fore when civilization stops it takes a back step that is exactly what happened in the entire story in the beginning ralph along with the other bigans tried for civilization wanted to work to build the shelters and to light the fire so that they would be rescued easily but gradually by the end of the story we observed how ralph was left alone all the others had already inclined towards savage either by fear or force but they all surrendered to savage next we have spirituality and religion there is only and only one person in the entire story who actually believed in spirituality and religion and that was simon so simon was the only child who played the role of being spiritual of having faith in religion in the entire story and he represented he symbolized all the great spiritual and the religious men be it jesus christ or lord buddha he was the one who believed in facts not the fears he was the one who wanted to get to the depth of everything and at the end when simon got to know about the fact that the parachutist was dead and that it was not a beast and he came down to inform the mob about the same he was killed so because of his goodness and because of the crazy instincts and the ideologies of the mob simon was killed next we have the weak and the strong now this theme is evident throughout the story in the beginning only we saw how two groups were made within one was the group of boys who were working towards civilization and the other were the group of boys who worked towards savagery so this battle between savagery and civilization could be seen throughout moreover we also saw how the boys were always inclined towards getting respect from their counterparts how jack and ralph were always fighting to be the leaders of the mob holding the conch was such a big deal for them because for them conch symbolized power so in the entire story they have depicted at every instance that they wanted to appear strong and powerful and therefore they were always fighting so these were the major themes of the story lord life Next let us discuss the character sketches of the characters that we came across in the story. The first one was Ralph. Ralph was a tall and physically strong boy because at the beginning only we learned that he had an athletic body. Despite his size and his strength, he never showed any signs of dominating over the others and the only thought that was with him that stayed in his mind throughout was to rescue everyone from that island he always insisted on planning and to abide by the laws and the rules and to keep important things as the priority and that was the reason why for him building shelters was more important than hunting for pigs he was very unhappy when he saw everybody playing and idling their times rather than building the shelter so this was ralph who was uh, striving to earn civilization in the entire world next we have piggy Piggy was indeed the smartest boy on the island. It was him who suggested to make a sundial so that they would be able to see the time. 
he was a little fat he was asthmatic because of which he was considered to be an outcast he was always an outs- outsider by the bigins he also believed in civilization abiding by the laws finding a prob- solution to the problem through proper reasoning though because of his obesity and because of his desires for food at times he did become weak but other than that piggy had a tendency to deliver lectures and to criticize people he also infuriated the other boys he inspired them he mocked at them he physically abused them so piggy in short was a symbol of right rationality and sense next we have jack jack was the head of the chorus so the choir group that existed in the group among the boys jack was their head he became the hunters leader and he loved to be in power he was never interested in following the laws and the rules because he was you know he always looked for an opportunity so that he would be able to punish and to dominate over the other children he loved hunting he loved to kill because again it gave him power to hurt and to you know dominate and to rule over the others he got angry when things did not happen his way he believed that he was a proper leader and he always wanted to issue orders and wanted them to be followed as well we saw that by the end of the novel because of jack and because of his savagery simon and piggy lost their lives and almost everybody had turned into an a human animal next we have simon Simon was a spiritual and a religious boy as to what I would like to describe him as he was dreamy he was dark haired boy who always you know was very prone to having fits he was the only member of the jacks chorus that did not become a hunter he was very generous and that is why he shared his meat with piggy when nobody else did so simon helped ralph to big to build the shelters not because of the duty but because he wanted that to be made he also was very brave because when the others were not ready to go down the mountain at night to inform piggy that they not be able to come back at night simon volunteered to do so it was simon who actually suggested that the beast was within us so the first statement for the beast being within within us came from simon he was unafraid and therefore simon was a symbol of jesus christ as i told you at the beginning of the story he was spiritual he believed in truth he believed in being honest and therefore he lost his life for goodness and being then we have roger roger was a quiet boy but was always thinking he was a part of jack's chorus he was at first very difficult to interpret but then later on roger began to reveal himself as a savage only when he started throwing stones at the at the little ones and then he killed a pig in a more vicious way than it was necessary then he was the one who rolled down the boulder at piggy and he tortured sam and eric and finally at the end we read how he was sharpening his stick from both the sides so that he could kill ralph as well so jack loved power but roger loved to cause pain he was a sadist he enjoyed giving pain to the other people and that is why he and jack were always together the last people whom we are going to talk about were sam and eric they were the identical twins whose names were sam eric and they always did everything together and that is why their name was always taken together 
they resembled each other very closely and they proved to be less influenced by the fear of beast or jack and that is why until the end they were with ralph and piggy in civilization team it was only until the end when roger tortured them that they shifted sides and then also they told ralph about the plan of roger that he was sharpening both sides of his stick so these my dear students were the important characters 